This is the independent practice check for 7.1. Hopefully you have these done. You can see how you did. We're going to go through these pretty quick. Uh, number one, we have an equation. The equation is 29 plus d equals 54. I'm going to just plug in the first one, see if that's correct. And if it's not, it'll tell me where I need to go. 9 plus 4 is 13. 2, 4, 5, 53. I need to get to 54, so I need one more than that. So 25 is my answer. I'm going to just check it because I want to make sure. 29 plus 25. 9 plus uh, 5 is 14. And that equals 54, which is what I want. So my answer is 25. Okay. Let's come over here to number 2. We have another equation. Equation here is 35. This equals 45 minus n. So I'm going to throw 10 in right here as n. 45 minus 10 equals 35, which is what I want. And this one, I solved it right away because I know that if I put 11 in there or 12, it's going to get me different answers, and I need 35. So the answer is 10. Number three. My equation is this, 6w equals 30, 6 times something is going to be 30. Well, 6 times 5 is 30, 6 times 6 is 36, 6 times 7 is 42. If I put this 5 in here, this is the one that's going to get me 30, so the answer is 5. Okay, now I have a division. This equation is x divided by some 7 equals 3. I just need to figure out what this x is. So 20 divided 7 ways, ooh, that's not a whole number. That doesn't get me 3. 21 divided by 7 gets me 3 exactly. So I know that 21 is my answer. All right, let's solve each of these mentally. Should be able to do these not too hard. Um, I have something plus 4 is going to give me 17. If I have m being 10, 10 plus 4 is 14, so I need 3 more. Let's go 13. 13 plus 4, that equals 17. Awesome. So m must equal 13. All right, 12 equals 24 minus y. i got to figure out what this y is. Um... I know that um, if it's 12, <laughs> I just do this kind of mentally, 24 minus 12, that's going to get me this 12. Okay? I'm always going to check my answer to make sure. All right, 12 minus B equals 12. Well, if I'm starting at 15, getting rid of something and ending with 12, I'm going to say B equals 3. So put 3 in here, 15 minus 3 is 12, 3 is my answer. Number 8, 10 times t equals 90. What's t? Well, 10 times 9 equals 90. Okay, just, you almost have to ask yourself, what is that variable? What is that? If this is this, then what is it? What, what can I change this to? so that it can be a complete uh, statement, or a correct statement, I should say. 22 divided by y equals 2. What do I need to divide 22 by to get me all the way down to 2? Well, if I do 11, 22 divided by 11, that equals 2. Beautiful. Number 10. We have 54 equals... 6 times b. So what times 6 is going to get me to 54? I could go 6 times 1, 6 times 2, equals 12. It's going to take me a while to get to 54. Um, so I'm going to go up to 10. 6 times 10 equals 60. That's too much. 6 times 9 equals 54, which is what I want. So B equals 9. Okay. All right, let's do 11, 12, 
12 and 13. One season, the Cougars won 20 games. They played a total of 25 games. Use the equation 20 plus G equals 25, and G is how many they lost. So it's going to be 25 plus 5 is going to get me to 25. So they lost 5 games. Sounds like a good season to me. Number 12. Five friends earned a total of $50 doing yard work in their neighborhood. Each friend earns the same amount. Use the equation 5 times some amount equals 50. To find R, the amount of each friend, what each friend earns. 5 times what equals 50? 10. So if each friend earned 10 bucks, then they would get a total of 50. Okay, number 13. Last year, 700 students attended Walnut Springs Middle School. This year, 665 students are attending. Use the equation 700 minus D equals 6. Six, five. Okay, so we have to have some number that's going to take it away from 700 to get me all the way to the 665. All right, I'm going to just try if D equals 25, then I know 700 minus 25 equals 675. Now that's not quite low enough. I want 665. I'm at 675, so I need to go another 10 down. So instead of just taking away 25, I'm going to take away 35. 700, take away 35. If this gets me 665, then I'm good. Six. Okay, 10 minus 5 is 5. 9 minus 3 is 6. Bring down my 6. That's the number I wanted. So... The answer, the change in students, or D, is 35 less students. It's good to always label your answer. I labeled this one with games, labeled this one with a dollar sign, and 35 uh, students. Okay? So if you have any trouble, if you had any trouble with those, please uh, come and see me so that we can figure out what's going on. Um, and you can go on, once you have it all squared away, you can go on to the extra practice.